Tracy Hanna. Fastest in the corners. And what sort of a run are we going to see from Ooh. her today, Claudia? Because, you know, she's got a good margin now with the demise of Rachel Atherton in the overall standings. Will that rule or is she going to go all out for the win? It looks pretty quick at the top, really fast up there. That's exactly the question I wanted to ask. Is she now thinking of the overall, maybe not going at 100, 120% anymore at each single race, making sure she gets the points for the overall, or is she still going to go for it? Well, it looks it. like it. Tracy Hanna is going for it. I said to her in a week, you must be loving these dry, fast conditions. And she said, well, you know, everyone thinks because I'm from Australia, I love the dust. But the only time I'm home in a year is rain season. <laughs> so she doesn't really get to, get to ride anything but mud and slop there up there in Cairns in Queensland. But having a season of her life, Tracy Hanna, not outside the top three at any World Cup race. Switched up a lot of things in the winter and it's really worked for her. And it does look like she's not taking any risks there. It does look like she's staying very much in control. And you cannot blame her for that one bit. But, but it seems to pay out. Exactly. So smooth there. 1.4 up then for Hannah. At that second split. Straight down the middle line there. There is a line to the side as well. Gives you a better line Whoa, there. Oh, look at this line. Nice. Yeah. And that should set her up nicely through that really hard left. Perhaps the most difficult left-hander on the track there. But Hannah definitely riding very composed, Claudio. It, we have not seen one single mistake so far. Inside that big route drop off there. Loses 0.23 to Salazar. That is not a lot, and she's now soon back out in the open. Lost a lot less to left. Excuse me, lost a lot less. Ooh, to but Alina Cabrou. Lose. Yeah, only point two up now then. Well, it's close. Extremely close. Is it gonna be France's day or is an Australian gonna ruin the party? It's the sign of the kind of storyline you expected to see in the men's race. With Troy Brosnan up against the uh, 58.6 through that speed trap. Oh, drifting a little bit there. Now she cannot allow herself any mistake if she wants to take that win. Took a first World Cup win in 2007. The it's first of be four. Close. The winner in Fort William this year. So gutted still about the uh, World Championships in Cairns. Nearly a second up now. Extending again. Out. But an overall World Cup title might make up something for that for her. So it's down to those last three turns. One of them here. Then the gap jump. Hannah sends it. Lands oh, it cleanly. Tough so. landing there. Less than a second to play with. What is Tracy Hanna going to do there the last turn? Here comes Hanna and she takes the win in Le Chais, France. 0.67 of a second. And from one pair of fast Frenchmen to another then. Amory Pierre on the winner in Fort William this year. And I tell you, this is going to be even wilder. Look at the stats there. Fastest in the technical and the corners. Oh, oh my he's goodness. flying. He's literally flying. Literally flying is actually the word there. You're right. Oh, oh! Piron on the wow. edge there. Well, you can't go much faster than this up the top. That was a proper two-wheel drift, and he's going to send it into the green. That's for sure. Oh, by a big margin. Absolutely. 1.1 up then. So the French not disappointed the crowd here this afternoon. So he just has to control this now, but will he? Yes, he's actually extending. Absolutely insane. Wow! Quick he's going in there, Louis Bruni. Oh, excuse me, Amory Piron. <laughs> Louis Bruni's time is getting smashed. 1.6 up. That's huge. Can he keep it together like that? Like, oh, this is nuts. That was so clean and fast through there as well. Kept it right on the inside. Piron is on the move here. How do these riders do it under all this pressure here? Loses a tenth, nearly two tenths through the forest key section. He just needs to control it now. If he knows that he's 1.6 ahead, he would only have to control it. 1.45 now. Absolutely clean right there. No risk. The defending World Cup overall winner from last year. Oh, oh another two-wheel drift way to the outside. And again goes deep up there. He is carving so hard on these turns. Oh, two, whoa, have you ever seen a two-wheel drift like that? <laughs> wow. It's as exciting as we expected it to be. 
Piron gets a few pedal strokes in. That, that was needed crazy. The next split. He's going to extend. He's going to extend. Oh, right on the edge there. These French riders are so fast. And again, you ride 1.6 up there. It's going to be a massive winning margin. All right, three more turns. Tie line there. Gets exactly where he needs to be then, Amory Piron. So Amory Piron coming down to the line. It's going to be his second World Cup win of 2019. And it's the what? one 2.3 up. That is colossal. <laughs> I can't believe what I've just seen. 2.3 seconds. How did, he, how did he do that? France wins in Le Jay <laughs> on the weekend of Bastille Day. The dream has come true for Amory Piron. Look at the scenes. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable.